it's Amy Hall here again from twoglassyladies.ca, one perk by Amy. So this week I've been working with Valcox Brit Aqua Violet and very pretty blend. It's um kind of like an opaque and transparent mix and some really pretty kind of like violets and periwinkles and light green. So I've got like a whole big bouquet of beads to show you. Ta -da! So I'm going to show you all of these one by one, but I like looking at them this way because it kind of feels like a bouquet of flowers. You know, um, yeah, I, I tend to make a lot of beads when I get going, so <laughs> this is like a couple of torch sessions worth of beads though. Anyways. Okay, so here we have Aqua Violet with Kugler K100 Leaded Clear, and this is the swirly encased style of bead. So it's kind of sw swirled right into the center of the glass. Yeah, and I'll say right up front that I did quite a few sets here with the silver wire. I'm just like really falling in love with using silver wire on beads. This is um, a Fetre 038 Transparent Pale Aquamarine with uh, Aqua Violet Valcox Frit and Sterling Silver. No, not Sterling Silver, sorry, it's Fine Silver Wire. It's like 0.999 or whatever. Um, yeah, and I just kind of wrap it around and then melt it in and it creates these little, little silver, silver droplets. It's just like a really pretty effect. This is Valcox Aqua Violet Frit on a Fetri 232 Pastel Light Turquoise. All of these except for the Kugler, by the way, are the 104 COE glasses. The Kugler Clears um, are 96 COE, COE to match the Frit, but I haven't had any compatibility issues with this one, so, so far, cross your fingers. Yeah, I really, I really love how, how this came out on the, on the light turquoise. Here is Valcox Aqua Violet on Ephetre 031, which is pale emerald, transparent pale emerald. Um, and yeah, I guess the transparent and the violets didn't really show up as much, so it's kind of like a more subtle effect, but I still think these are really pretty. We have Valcox Aqua Violet um, with the Kugler K100 um, Leaded Clear. Again, this is the 96 COE. So this one I used quite a bit more of the frit and it's swirled into the center of the glass and then it's also, the beads have also been rolled in it so it's kind of like a double swirled and speckled. Um, this really showcases this frit really nicely. It's, it's a beautiful blend. Is Valcox Aqua Violet on Fetre 050, which is a transparent pale blue. It's another base that worked really well with these colors, just kind of like subtle and soft and really pretty. More fine silver wire here. Again, Valcox Aqua Violet on Periwinkle Blue, that's a Fetra A220. And again, this is a, a 104 COE glass. And the fine silver wire. Really like these ones. Don't leave home without your copper green. This is Valcox Aqua Violet on Ephetre 219 Copper Green Pastel 104 COE. One of my favorite for bases, as everyone probably knows by now. And yeah, loving this. I did, there's one that I did with silver as well, but it kind of, it was a little bit too blobby and plus I decided that 
I wanted to just leave these ones with the, like the colors just came out so pretty on copper green and I didn't feel like it even needed the silver to distract from that. Goodness, I'm loving these too. I'm really loving this blend. Okay, so this here is a Fetray 247, I believe. It's like a pastel, pastel lavender blue. And with Balcox Aqua Violet. And I'm just loving the colors. These beads. I'm just loving them. silver fine silver wire this is a Fetre 680 green tea from the cool colors line and Valcox aqua violet frit and fine silver wire green tea is another one of my really favorite frit bases it's kind of a lot like copper green but lighter it's like a lighter version of copper green Balcox Aqua Violet on a base of Maridi Fetri 204 Pastel White. Just like your basic. I always find that putting a frit on the white base is like that's when you really get to see just what the colors in the frit are because they all really show up clearly. And you can see it's like a really pretty blend of violets and kind of like a, a greenish blue. So like little posies, periwinkle posies. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Me and my bouquet of beads here. So overall, yeah, I mean, I just love this blend. Can't say enough about it as usual. I'm, I, I tend to pretty much like all of the Valcox color blends though, so. Honestly, um, I have a lot of frit. I don't know if I've, I'm sure I've shown you before, but I mean, there's like my whole studio is just like Valcox frit, Valcox frit. So, I've got lots and lots of frit. Anyway, but highly recommend this blend. Thanks so much again to Val and Sabrina and I'll sign in. Bye.